This is the fourth part of our second semester's first prose, What is Courage, which is written by William Slim. So open your books, page number 30, last paragraph. Now listen carefully. All men have some degree of physical courage. So in every man, you can see some kind of, some degree of physical courage. It means physically they are ready to do anything. It's surprisingly how much, but we cannot tell you certainly how much physical courage any particular individual person is having. Courage, you know, is like having money in the bank. Now here, the author trying to tell you, trying to compare courage with the amount in the bank account. <clears throat> we start with a certain capital of courage. Now certain, certain it means specific. Endure 
the most prolonged prolonged it means continuing for a long time prolonged strain in war so any person is fighting a war any soldier in the war he is fighting war and from long period long continuous period he is fighting in the war so there will be definitely some kind of strain some kind of stress we can see on his mind on his body the submarine submarine it means underground sorry underwater ship submarine complement complement it means that which complete the infantry platoon infantry means ground soldiers platoon it means sub unit of a company of 60 soldiers the bomber crew bomber it means bombing aircraft bomber it means the aircraft which throw bombs on the ground on the enemies that aircraft is called bomber aircraft bombing crew crew it means a group of soldiers operating and aircraft <coughs> so here are given few example suppose any soldier is fighting a war in a submarine underwater ship any soldier is fighting with a ground troop ground unit of soldier that is called infantry platoon any soldier is fighting with a bomber crew with a bomber soldiers group first there comes growing impatience impatience it means lack of lack of patience and irritability irritability it means easily annoyed or angry so any soldier is fighting continuously in submarine in a bomber aircraft or ground soldiers so first there comes impatience it means lack of patience we can see in those soldiers then after that comes irritability it means that soldier can easily be angry then a hint of recklessness recklessness without 
carrying of the consequences of an action a sort of o to have with it chaps chap it means main boys we shall attack spirit next real full hardly hardiness it means foolish boldness so here after that there we can see recklessness it means without caring of the consequences of the result of any action those soldiers ready to do any action then we can see a foolish boldness in those soldiers and they are ready to do anything and last sudden change of mood from false hilarity hilarity it means amusement or we can see great amusement express by laughter morosis morosness morosness it means sullen or bad tempered sudden change of mood and false hilarity then finally we can see suddenly we can see those soldiers are laughing madly without any reason we can see those soldier laugh madly and after that then we can see a bad temper in those soldiers this is the last step of those soldier being a mad person they are fighting continuously in a war if before that stage is reached the man's commander has stopped what happening and pulled him out for a rest he will recover so <coughs> before reaching to that final stage any commander of that soldier take that soldier out from the war and let him rest for few days then that person will automatically recover get his mental and physical health back again then we can send that soldier again into the war in a few months he will be back again to as brave and as balanced as ever the capital in his bank of courage will have built up and he can start spending again so when he will rest automatically his courage capital of courage will store in his body in his mind in his heart and after few days he will be ready to fight again with the new energy with the new boldness braveness so students here we are going to stop today and have a good day to all of you thank you very much